What's up guys, it's Tommy here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Apple TV. It's very simple to do. I'll be showing you on the fourth generation. You're gonna need the power cable, the remote, the Apple TV itself, and an HDMI cable that unfortunately Apple does not provide. You also may need to use the lightning cable in order to charge the remote. Having said that, let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your Apple TV, turn it to the back, and you'll see numerous different ports. The first port we're gonna use is the HDMI port, so get your HDMI cable. It doesn't matter which end, they're both the same. And then you're gonna wanna just insert it into the slot, like so. And with the other side of the cable, we're gonna use to insert it into the HDMI slot in our TV. As you guys can see, the HDMI port is right there on our TV. It even says HDMI 1 next to it. Remember the number of the HDMI slot you insert it in because you will need to go to that channel on your TV once we turn it on. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and insert the HDMI cable into the TV. The next step is gonna be connecting the power cable. Right next to the HDMI slot on your Apple TV, there is a place to insert the power cable, which is on this left side right over here. So go ahead and grab your power cable. It'll look like this. Go ahead and insert that into the slot. And now we're just gonna insert this into a wall plug-in. Our next step is to turn on your TV and go to HDMI 1. As you can see on the top right corner, we're on HDMI 1. And now you're going to want to get your Apple TV remote. And then here on top of the menu button, we have a little trackpad which you can move up and down by just sliding your finger. It also acts as a button so you can press down on it to select an option. So the first menu is selecting your country. So I'm going to go ahead and go up and hit United States. Next, it's data and privacy go ahead and click continue Siri detection which is a huge feature on the Apple TV fourth generation so we're gonna go ahead and put use Siri and here we get the option to set up with the device if you have an iPhone iPad or iPod touch or we can set up manually obviously if you have a device you're gonna want to hit set up with device it'll be a lot easier but if you don't you can also go ahead and set up manually which we'll do now so we'll go ahead and go down and hit set up manually. Then you'll be asked to select a Wi-Fi network, which we'll do that right now. Once you select your Wi-Fi network, go ahead and enter the password, or you could also use the little mic button on your remote. This one is the mic button. So if you click on that, you can go ahead and verbally say the password. Once you have entered your password, go ahead and hit continue, let it load up, and then it'll say activating Apple TV. It may take a few minutes to activate, so just give it a second. And the next Next step is to enter your Apple ID. This is used to download apps through the Apple TV App Store. If you do not have an Apple ID, it's very easy to create one. You can go to appleid.apple.com and create one for free there. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and enter mine. And once you've entered your Apple ID, you'll then get sent a verification code to another device that you may have. And then once you enter that verification code, just wait for it to load. This screen is basically just letting you know how often you you want your password to be required when making a purchase. I'm gonna put always require. If you have a TV provider, you can go ahead and set that up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put not now. And then it just gives you a couple of TV apps that they recommend. I'm gonna put not now. You'll be asked where the Apple TV is located. Since mine is in the living room, I'm gonna go ahead and put living room. Then you'll be asked if you want to enable location services. I'm going to put disable location services. On this screen, it's going to ask you for the time zone. So you're going to have to enter a large city that's next to wherever you live so that your Apple TV can have the correct date and time. You'll then be asked if you want this pretty cool screensaver. I'm going to put not now. This next screen is if you want to send analytics to Apple, I'm going to put don't send. Terms and conditions, agree. And now we're in the actual Apple TV itself as you see here 
Uh, we have the different apps. Here is the app store. So this is where you'll be downloading all your apps such as Netflix, Hulu, and so on. This is why you need an Apple ID in order to download these apps. But yeah, that basically sums up how to set up your Apple TV. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful in some way. If it was, please smash that like button. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.